this is the the affiliate roadmap. This is what we are going to talk today. To talk about today. This is the plan for today. So one hour session. Uh, as uh, Mate was telling, there will be re the recording available for all of you. There will be a Q and A, and as well, feel free to chat to ask any questions. And I'm more than happy to 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 help you go through. All right. So. Um, yeah, so let me see. So let me see what tell you what you will learn in this uh, in this session. Give me one second, please. Camera uh, okay. Let's start. Okay, good. So um, you know when when I uh, I'm 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 very happy to be to be in this in this webinar for for many reasons, you know. But having a webinar with, with Get Response is is always a pleasure. I've been a client of Get Response for lots of years, I, I think 2000, 2014. And also because I've known GetResponse for many years, one of the things that I like the most, and I think it's it's fair for me to say this here today, is apart from the software is the team behind. You know, they are very nice people and I only try to surround myself with nice people. So uh, as you will see during this webinar, or during this presentation, you understand why I say this and why this is crucial for your affiliate business. Um, so uh, you've already said, many of you, you know what affiliate marketing is, just to make things very simple, is uh, basically you sell a product and, and, and get a commission out of it. But we're, what we're going to learn today is how to create a profitable business with affiliate marketing. So um, why is this important? Because the interesting thing of affiliate marketing is to learn how to leverage other people's products without the need to create and maintain them, right? Which is usually one of the most time-consuming and risky tasks that you have to do as an entrepreneur, right? So we will discuss here the common difficulties faced by affiliate, mar affiliate marketers and also how to overcome these difficulties. Now, I will show you some effective strategies to automate your business with our step-by-step -step system so you can get more leads, more sales, and more clients 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And on top of it, I will provide you with a bonus, with a bonus masterclass, actually, that I, I think you will love, <laughs> where we will see this process live, these things. We are going to do this, this masterclass next Saturday, so on Saturday, a couple in two, three days, in a couple of days, actually. And, and you will see this process. So whatever I'm going to tell you here, I will explain step-by-step step how we do it, how we work as affiliate marketers and how we make money as affiliate marketers as well, all right? Now, the next thing is we're, uh, I'm going to show you as well how to find the right uh, traffic sources so you can generate more targeted leads that love to buy and even more i'm offering inside this masterclass this bonus masterclass where uh, we're going to show you live how we acquire targeted leads and integrate them into our system okay and just to top it off right we will I'll provide a valuable checklist that we this is a checklist we use every time and and it contains essential steps for you know whenever you send an email to your database so that's that's a that's an interesting thing to have. But uh, the only thing I, I, I can ask you, please, to access these three these, these bonuses is uh, make sure to stay till the end of the session. These are crucial resources that will complement today's content. The first one will guide you through creating this system from scratch, you know, which is exactly what you need if you want to make real money with your business. The second, the second one is the, this, in this masterclass will reveal how to scale your business and then the checklist that ensures that you don't miss any important steps before sending the, the, the emails. Okay. Uh, does it make sense for everyone? Uh, let me see if I, uh, yep. Okay. Okay. Just let me see because I have to, I have to move to, to change the chat. I'm not sure if you're seeing my, my chat, but Anyway, okay, cool. So, um, I am Benet Maria Marcos. I've been a full-time affiliate marketer for many years. In my niche, what we do is we recommend software. Basically, we find the right software for our community and get paid a commission once we make the sale. And to be very transparent with you, and I think it makes a lot of sense to, to show these numbers here, uh, I've generated $167,860 in affiliate commissions from GetResponse. This translates into more than half a million dollars in sales for GetResponse. But look at this this way. So we're just one of GetResponse affiliates. So imagine, on the one hand, how much money can you make for a company as an affiliate? And this is important. You'll understand why this is important. 
And then how much money you can get from a company thanks to their commitment with their affiliates. And as I say, this is very important for this presentation. So remember these facts because you will understand how to do affiliate marketing the right way. So give me a one, guys, if, you, if you'd like to generate so many sales with GetResponse or, of course, with any other, with any, with any other product. <laughs> cool. One, one, one. So lots, of, lots of ones coming in. Okay. Elevens. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you, guys. Now, the, um, we, I've, I've generated more than $2 million in sales for other affiliate programs. Tens of thousands of sales of, you know, affiliate uh, affiliate products, affiliate sales of affiliate products, and I'm advisor to clients all around the world. And one of the, well, let's say funny things that people say about me is that I am the go-to guy for translating successful products into other languages. We started with the Spanish markets, uh, of course. I'm, I come from Barcelona. I didn't tell you guys I come from Barcelona, but I live in Scotland. I live in Edinburgh. I don't know if there's anyone from Edinburgh here. <laughs> But uh, just just let me know in the chat. But as I say, um, it's very interesting because when you work for different markets rather than the English speaking markets, then you need to do things differently, right? So that's that's part of my that's part of my job as well. Now, but how did we start, and why? More importantly, why did we start this way? In two thousand eight. We started our online journey. When I say we, I say my partner, Beatrice. You will, you will see a picture of her in a, in a bit. Um, we, we started studying social media marketing with the big names in the industry. And th the interesting thing is that we've kept doing so, you know, because learning has always led us to achieve more. People who have generated tens of millions of dollars online, right? People like Brian Dice, Frank Kern, Jeff Wilker, Jay Abraham. Probably you know most of them, but these guys are really are really great. Uh, Michael Stelsner as well, Andre Chaperon, John Carlton, and many, many more. But uh, between 2008 and 2010, we worked as social media marketing consultants. And during that time, we collaborated with medium and large companies and also institutions, you know, like, like the ones you see here. But this experience gave us a, a very interesting perspective on what was needed in the digital marketing world and how online communication had to be approached because it's different. You know, many companies think that they have to communicate to people the same way, but it's not. It's completely different. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you have had this similar experiences, but give me a one if you work for medium or big companies or even small companies and you still feel that they don't understand how the online world works. Give me a one or give me a two if you think that they are understanding uh, understanding everything better. Okay, yeah, one one. It's you know it's it's like you know it's changing, but at the same time it's um, it's still difficult for them to understand how to communicate, right? But um, if and in 2010, we were approached by a Spanish university to create and manage one of the first social media management postgrad courses in the Spanish markets. That was very interesting because we started collaborating with big names in the Spanish marketing industry. And also, we created in 2012 the first collaborative social media marketing blog in the Spanish markets. And as you see here, we, you know, we created the blog because we thought it was the best way to get organic targeted traffic. We will talk about this as well. Uh, after a while, like 2013, we created the first uh, online social media marketing summit in the Spanish markets as well. We had like 30 instructors from companies like Facebook, Movistar, Muy Interesante, to great consultants as well. And this, you know, this opened the door to create to start creating online training on digital marketing subjects. But then in 2015, we came across affiliate marketing. And this was like a game changer for us. You know, if you see here, I'm saying testing, testing, testing. Right. We were, I mean, we started a blog. We said, okay, we can do something with this traffic, but let's find a real business. Let's find a real business for us. When we discovered affiliate marketing, we realized that we were in front of something really interesting. Because I'll tell you what, I mean, in, in affiliate marketing, if you do it the way I'm going to tell you how I think that's the best way to do it, um, you will realize that there are, uh, so there are teams of people working for you, right? So you're selling a product and you don't have to take all the uh, all the risks and everything that uh, that these people are taking, right? So and and they are usually very interested in what they are doing. So for for us it was like saying, hey, we can enter the business world in a very interesting way, and we will we will start working with uh, uh, with these people who are interested in in what they in what they are doing, right? Okay, so but before we get started, okay, 
if I can show you how to automate the most painful parts of your business so you can get more leads, more sales, and more clients. Would you guys be interested? Give me a one again in the chat box, please. Yeah, one, 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 lots of ones, lots of ones coming in. Yeah, 11s as well. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay. Then if I can show you how to build a real business by following a system that can generate half a million dollars in sales as a get response affiliate, just like I did, would you give it a try? Just give me ones as well, if you would. Okay, one, one, one. Lots of ones coming in as well. All right, guys. So let's get started. Look, one of the things we realized when we started working in affiliate marketing, because we were working, you know, for the Spanish markets, and that means that people, if, we, if you're selling, we sell softwares, right? But most of the softwares are in English. So people do not feel comfortable with English sometimes, right? So we had to create something that we, we had to create value uh, for these people. And we realized that people needed support, right? And that is crucial. That is crucial when you, when you do affiliate marketing the way I'm going to teach you here. But and for us, our mantra is serve your clients. And this mantra is bigger than, 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 than you can imagine because this means that even as an affiliate marketer, you have clients, okay? So this has to come into your mind. You are serving clients. You're not serving just numbers or sales. You're serving clients. Now, this is it's here where there's a difference between two kinds of affiliate marketers, in my opinion, okay? Those who are focused on sales and those who are focused on business. Those who are focused on sales are focused on short term. Why? Because they are just sending traffic to specific offers, right? So uh, there's a big affiliate side and then they just send traffic to these offers. But, um, and, and want, we, all, we all want to make money fast, right? But in my opinion, if you want to create a profitable long-term business, you have to do the things the right way. Now, if you're focused on sales, what happens? You have to focus on creating an infinite traffic source because every all the money you put in, you have to get money out with that, that transaction. So I'm sending people to an offer that I maybe don't know well. And I, okay, I know I like the offer. I think it's good. They give me like uh, $2 per lead. So I get $1 per lead and then I'm getting, you know, whatever, $1 profit, right? But um, but you, you don't know anything else. So you have to focus on, you have to focus on the uh, traffic source, right? On creating an infinite traffic source. But then you need to have control over the source. But, and, and, but unfortunately, it's not that easy. So usually most affiliate marketers, what they do is they focus on paid ads, right? Because paid ads is the fastest way of making money. If you know, if you control paid ads, right? But what happens with paid ads? If let's say Meta or Google, they ban your accounts, uh, what do you do? I mean, if you've got several campaigns going on and you are sending traffic to these offers, then suddenly you don't you don't have control over that. Or uh, or, or happens as well that uh, maybe the, the product, you want to have control over the product, but then the rules change without notice. And this is funny because, well, like two days ago, I received this email, right? Your affiliate partnership with whatever was canceled, okay? And this was from Avangate Affiliates Network. So I have no relationship with this company. I have, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they, they added, they added it to my, to my account, maybe. But what, what's, what I want to say here is that you have no control. So if the vendor decides to change the rules, you are no one for the vendor, right? So they just change the rules. They may send you an email. They may not send you an email. And it's quite difficult. These big affiliate sites, right? Like uh, ClickBank or Max Bounty or, you know, big affiliate sites that you can fi find around are quite impersonal. So you can get sometimes an affiliate manager for several products. And then you could talk to the affiliate manager and the affiliate manager help. But then, you know, it's not their decision because they are affiliate managers of let's say Max Bounty, right? It's not the affiliate manager of that company. So they, you have a relationship with someone that, that's not part of the company. But when you focus on building a, a business, things change very much, very, very much. Now, when you focus on creating a system, you focus on recurring sales. Recurring sales means, and this is a keyword for this presentation, and I think this is a keyword for anyone 
in life, anyone. So you have to build a responsive database. If you do not have a database, you, know have, you do not have recurrence, right? Because you do not know your clients. You do not know who these clients are. You don't have their emails, right? If you don't have their emails, if you don't have their contact details, you don't have a database. Therefore, you cannot sell them once and again. But if you build a responsive database, this works, right? Now, at the same time, you need to create relationships. What happens? So you have customers, right? You have the database, but then the vendors know that you have customers, that you have this database, right? And these vendors say, hey, this guy, you know, this we, we, he can prove that he's got a database and he can send uh, one, two, three of our offers and it always works, right? It's not like they are sending traffic from one place and then forget it. It's we are creating a relationship. And in, in, in this case, you become an asset of these companies, right? This is what I call the R and R and R. So results are related to relationships. And let me show you some examples of what we do and how we work. Okay. So these are, these are my, my all time earnings on get response, all time sales, 910 sales. If you go to your affiliate dashboard, you will see that. But uh, in this case, look at that. So I make this money because I also establish relationships with the team. This is, if you see the, if you see the picture in the left, on the left-hand side, this is John Lobruto, uh, John Lobruto, who is the affiliate manager of GetResponse. And he's, uh, well, we, we met in Barcelona. We met in Barcelona two weeks ago. They went to an event and, and we said, okay, I'm going to Barcelona. I come from Barcelona, but I was not there. But I said, hey, I, I need to meet John. We've got loads of meetings online, you know, and and on the right-hand side, you've got Ozzy. Ozzy is, is also a super nice person from the affiliate marketing team. And, you know, this relationship is what builds sales. I mean, and, and also, you know, build sales because in, in this case, I mean, John and, and John, I don't know if you're in this webinar, but I have to say that, man. I mean, he's, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a strategist, you know, he's a great strategist. And whenever we talk, he always comes with ideas and names and things and this and that, and we can do this and we can do that. You know, so he always comes with ideas. If I didn't have this support and I have to tell you guys, I mean, I've, with get response, I've always had this support since I started in my program, everyone who's gone through get response uh, affiliate ma uh, management team they've been super nice well other teams as well and and that's why we work with them i mean honestly otherwise i wouldn't i wouldn't work and i wouldn't have to say anything to you right but this is how you make money building relationships that's one of the biggest parts now some of you may know groove funnels Probably if GrooveFunnels is, is a competitor for ClickFunnels, uh, they launched in 2020. We were one of the top affiliates on GrooveFunnels. And again, you know, we did like $141,000 in revenue for them and $51,000 commissions in two months, right? And, but again, you know, why did it happen? Because we have relationship with Mike Phil, same. We have relationship with his family, with other marketers. We've, we've been in cruises. We've been, you know, we've been in many places. And then it's easy because then you start preparing before you before there is launch these people call you hey i'm going to have a launch oh what can we do what can we not do you know they've got the relationship as i said you are an asset for these people right same thing you may know doodly uh doodly and tunely softwares which has great softwares again so we sold doodly and tunely we have a good relationship with uh, with brad callen the founder who is a super clever marketer as well. And, you know, it's, it's, it's the way it works, affiliate marketing, you know, it works differently from what many people think. You have to have, have to make uh, relationships. Uh, this is, for instance, this is a, a, a small launch. Uh, we do like, it was a one week launch or something, you know, and we got $17,000 from this week launch. And uh, it was it was marketing blocks actually marketing blocks which is an AI software that guys if you need an AI software just go for marketing blocks and the founder of marketing blocks is is Ifyok Kim Ifyok is another super clever guy is someone you can talk to he will always give you ideas give you support and very honest you know and this is why I work with businesses I mean I I, I work with businesses where I feel comfortable I don't need to not feel feel comfortable with people right so on the one hand. You have to have control over, uh, uh, you know, over, over the product somehow and control over the system. But what happens here? Rules do not change easily in this case because these people, if they are going to change the rules, the first thing they do is they call you because you're being, bringing business to them, right? So you're someone who's known. You are not no one. And this is something you have to, wow, you have to get in your mind, you know? 
you are someone for them and and not just because you are making money for them but also because you are related to them you know and this is what i told you this is like having your own developing team without having the responsibility of creating a software yourself right without having the risk of creating a software yourself you've got the team who are interested in you selling their product right this is how you build relationships so somehow sort of you set and forget you never forget right but you set the system and the system keeps going and also that's why here you can use a variety of traffic sources if you use the sales you know that you're focused on sales the variety that you, you you don't spend money in so many so many sources but look at this so you can do paid ads right but instead of sending people to the offer straight away what you do is you send people to your page you get the leads and then you can sell to these leads once and again this is when you do email marketing right so for every dollar you pay you get several or do several dollars in because you put everyone in an automation as I, i'm going to show you today i will i will show you whatever I can in the time we have, but don't worry because I will show you step by step in the bonus masterclass we are offering. So you, you register for that at the end of the uh, of the webinar, and you'll see we are going to work on that. I will tell you how to create these automations, how to create this system, right? And then this means that when I send uh, when I send an offer to one person, I can send several offers to this person, and that's okay, right? Now. You can do SEO. You can spend money on SEO because you're ranking. Your website is ranking. That's great for those offers. Website pop-ups, YouTube demo videos. Wow, you have to be strong with YouTube demo videos. Partnerships. Sometimes people, they they just, they, they call you, you know, for, for private launches. Hey, I've got this. We can do this discount to your community. Would, uh, would you be interested? Yeah, then you start working with them, right? You create reviews. You create webinars, social media promos, loads of things, right? So that's because you're focused on building a business. And building a business means that you need to have, you know, a system, all right? Okay, so this is the summary. But look at this. Look at this, how interesting it is. If if you're focused on sales, yeah, infinite traffic source, control over the source, which is almost impossible. But in when you're building a business and you create a system, if you have an infinite traffic source, imagine what happens. So the, the system scales exponentially, and that's how you print money on demand, right? Okay, because everything goes to your system and you sell once and again to the same customers. You've got this list, this email marketing list that keeps selling and selling and selling. Okay. Okay. What, what do you think, guys, so far? <laughs> Which system would you prefer wor to work in? I mean, uh, there were some, some affiliate, uh, some people who had done affiliate, um, uh, affiliate marketing. So what do you think so far? Uh, okay. Oh, it's amazing. Thank you. This is great. Uh, I think, I think it's getting, it's getting a bit slow. All good so far to channel. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. We'll get into, into the thing, but I think it's important, you know, because, um, it is, it's important for you to understand what happens when you do affiliate marketing. If you just do affiliate marketing that, and, and getting sales, hey, I'm not saying you, you can't do that. I mean, you, you can make a lot of money with that as well because, uh, I mean, I know, I know marketers who earn millions of dollars per year because they know how to sell from ads, right? But if you want a recurring system, I think it's very important to have this in mind. Okay, cool. So... Let's start with the advanced marketing strategies to build an affiliate business. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, I have to tell you that uh, email marketing works, period. It works. You don't, you're not reliant on algorithms. The database is yours. I mean, I've never had any issues with the database. And 90%, I can say 90% of our business is, is based on email marketing. And it's the safest place online. I mean, I've... I've never lost one lead. You know, I've got I've got my leads. Uh, of course, people may um, can unsubscribe and can do things, but it's super safe. It's super safe, and it's one of the greatest places to start. Now, how do we how do we do the recurring revenue cycle? And and this is this is the cycle the way we do it. Okay, the first thing we do usually is we get leads. Then we uh, if we want to test an offer, we send a newsletter. Okay, we test the sales. When we test the sales, we analyze what's going on. And once we analyze what's going on, then we automate the system. But these steps here in this order, like get leads, newsletter, analyze, and automate, are super important if you want to have a clean business going on, working, right? So, however, you know, there are, when you analyze, there are some 
factors that are super important factors of email opens and clicks, right? Because what you wanna, when you when you make the analysis, if if a campaign is working, you have to look at uh, the, the open rates and the click rates. That's that's the first thing you have to look at. But you may have heard, you know, that people open your emails depending on the subject line or uh, depending on the time of the day you're sending it, right? So I, I guess you've heard this, right? However, there there are more factors on that uh, on top of that because. The first one is your niche. Okay, you need to know that there are there are uh, there are different kinds of open rates depending on the niche you are. Like if you want to have a really good perspective of how email marketing is working, just read the email marketing benchmarks that GetResponse publishes. I mean, Michael publishes Michael and, and Matty as well. They make a, an extraordinary work, and I can say that because I've compared this to other. Uh, to other benchmarks, to other, you know, to other um, uh, online online websites, and this is really good. Don't worry, I, I will I will send you the URL as well when when we send the bonuses. But you know, this is really good because you will realize that some sorry some some of the um, some of the niches um, generate more open rates than other niches for for several reasons. Now. The size of your list is important as well. For instance, this is a this is an email we sent some days ago, right? Okay, we sent it. Uh, uh, we sent. We had a twenty. We usually we have an average of between twenty five and thirty percent open rate. Okay, the click rate varies varies depending on on several factors. But uh, again, if you see if you go to this to this benchmark and and you see that our our the, the open rates on the internet marketing space, you will realize that uh, that we are. Almost ten percent, I would say eight to ten percent, sometimes uh, of higher open rates. But that is because we work the way I'm telling you. And some people don't be misled by people telling you that, oh no, I've got higher open rates, like 50 percent open rate, eight percent click through rate. Well, this happens when you have smaller lists, right? So don't don't be fooled. There's many things that uh, you know that 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 need to you need to take into account when you do this analysis, and this analysis is crucial when you if you want to send an automated promotion, right? Now, how engaged is your list, right? This is this is something important. You don't have to send the um, uh, emails to everyone. You have to send emails to those who are engaged, right? Those who are really giving you the, uh, you know, giving you their attention, and also the frequency. If you send an email today and you send a, a five-day promotion, right? So you will realize that the open rates decrease uh, because if you are only pushing, 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 you will realize that they decrease. But it is, but but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's normal. I mean, this happens. So the frequency helps as well. The subject line is very important. Of course, it is very important. Sometimes you are in a promotion and you say, oh, and the third day that you are supposed to have a lower open rate, then suddenly you have a better open rate because of the subject line, right? Okay, it's important, but it's not the only important thing. Seasonality. If I'm selling, if I'm selling air conditioning in winter, my open rates will probably not be as big, as, as, as high, right? So this is something you have to take into account as well. And finally, the sender. This is the... the that your reputation, this is where you build your reputation. People know you, and then uh, people open your emails because it's you, right? Because of you, not because whatever. But now, how do we analyze the clicks? So uh, you will see, I mean, this is get response, of course, but you, you can you can use other other software. You will see that they usually have this. Uh, how many links have, have been clicked? You see that many of the links in this on this page are the same, and, and it's because uh, you know this we use lots of links on our on our newsletters we tend to do very long newsletters because we want people to take the decision on the newsletter not necessarily going to our page which is the opposite that many people do so that's why our open our click rates may be slightly lower than other people's but this is the way we do it okay we check which ones are the ones that are working and look at this so get response got the possibility of of heat map probably other softwares do as well, but this is very interesting. If I know that 43% have clicked on my first link, and then I go down my email and I see that then the next link is an 8.25%, 9 to 28%, 4%, 6%, whatever, and I come back and I say, wow, this is there is a 16% at the bottom of my email. What's going on here? And then you realize that this link is exactly the same link that you put at the beginning, then when you create your automation, you know which are the links that people are going to click more. Then if you if if you make people click more links, 
you've got it. So you can get more sales, you get better reputation by the email email uh, email providers, you know. So it's important for you to do this analysis and understand which links work, which links links don't work, and maybe you can do a shorter email and and and, and then put all the links closer. All right. So this is the way we do it. Also, the the PS is 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 very good. But now, how do we craft our emails for proper affiliate marketing? This is a this is a copywriting part, right? Um, use templates only when required. So we never use templates. That I, I need to be honest with you. And all the email marketing softwares, they they tend to say, oh yes, we've got hundred templates, five hundred templates. I don't care. I don't care for one reason because. What we do is we create a relationship with our subscribers. And when you create a relationship with your subscribers, what you do is that, so you have to talk to them like in a, you know, like 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 telling them a story, right? So you, you have to be very close to them. If I start putting images and stuff that's not relevant to my email or then it looks too promotional. And even if you make a promotional email, you have to create this relationship with your subscribers, right? I'm, I'm going to show you this on, on the bonus masterclass as well. We'll have more time and we will go through this because I think it's very important. But the, the, the way we do it is the inverted pyramid structure. You may have heard of the inverted pyramid structure. It means that the, the most important thing goes first. So I'm not telling the sto a story the traditional way. I'm calling people's attention at the beginning with the most interesting thing that I, they can get, right? Now, we use bold and bullet points and titles. We don't use titles if we, are, if we are telling a story, but it's important because people understand better. You know, people, we tend to read very fast, you know, so you need to make it easy for, for your subscribers, for people to, to read what you're interested to. So use bold, use uh, use bullet points and it will work. Now, you have to alternate the text with relevant images as well. Uh, relevant images, what do I mean? For instance, we created a course here. It's a, it's a digital marketing course. Again, uh, this digital marketing course, it's in Spanish, it's 14 hours. I made all the effort to create this course because uh, we do a theoretical part and then we do the, the, the practical part with get response. For, for what I say, you know, I know get response is going gonna, is gonna to keep working. So that's, that's the way I... That's the way I think it has to work. So uh, if if I can provide something useful to people, then I just do it. And I, I spend time, I spend money on that because I know I'm going to get it back, right? Now, um, you have to take relevant images, okay? And AI-powered emails, you may have heard about AI-powered emails. Uh, I don't use them. I mean, we use AI only to get ideas. But the important thing here is they try to be yourself. So people will feel that it's yourself. And as I say, I mean, sometimes we use AI to say, wow, this sentence, I would have not thought about this sentence. Okay, that's cool. Just introduce that in the sentence, but tend to uh, tend to be your yourself, right? On, on the bonus masterclass, we will we'll show you how to create AI lead magnets. That's, that's something different. That's not an email. So that's something to attract people's attention. Sometimes people do not read the lead magnets they subscribe to, but uh, it's different from an email, right? An email, is, uh, an email needs to be read and needs to be, needs, you need to create this relationship. Also be careful because affiliate links can cause issues. And, and, and this is a problem. I mean, some email marketing softwares will not allow you to send to send affiliate links, but that is why what you have to do is create your own landing pages. If you create your own landing pages, you're in control because you're sending people to your domain and everything is fine. And one of the ways we do it is like if we translate a, a site in Spanish and it's not affecting the you know the vendor's rank or whatever, then we translate it. We add our videos and just and just replicate their page, or we create a page from scratch. That's another option here. Here, I, we created a page with a website builder, which we had never tried it before, the GetResponse website builder, but it's honestly great. And also gives you lots of, you know, uh, interesting analytics, you know, not useful ones, not uh, not super complicated. You can see how many people go to your pages and all, and all that stuff. So it's another way of, you know, having having an email marketing software that helps you build everything else. Now, you need to segment your database. Whenever you send emails, and this is, a, this is a, something that I've, I've noticed from many affiliate marketers. You see, many affiliate marketers got like hundreds of thousands of people on their lists, and they send the emails to hundreds of thousands of people on their list, and that doesn't work. You know, I think you have to um, you have to think about engagement. So you have to engage your people and send those emails to the engaged leads. If you don't send the emails to the engaged leads, what's going to happen is your 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 
your open rates are going to drop. Uh, your reputation is going to drop as well. So you need to have a system, and I will show you how we do it. Uh, have a system to um, to to, to um, you know to, to take the uh, uh, disengaged people and take them uh, to make them become engaged, right? But then once you send emails, once you send newsletters or automated emails, you need to do it to selected contacts, right? Also, you need to give the opportunity to leave your campaign. And this is something important because if you are, you know, if you're annoying people all the time and you're, you're sending an offer and they are not interested anymore, then people uh, may unsubscribe from your list. But here, what we tell them in, on, on the bottom of our email is if you don't want to receive more emails about this software, but you want, you still want to be subscribed to our list, just click here. Then we take them to a list. We take them, we take them to a list which is the no, no, no interesting list. You know, no interest list. And then we create an automation where we, you know, we they subscribe to this list. We wait for seven days because our promotions, our short promotions, are usually, you know, the newsletter promotions are usually, you know, from three to six, seven days. So I give sometimes seven days, and then we remove them from this list and. That's it. And you don't have to do anything else. The only thing you have to do is whenever you send an email, you have to exclude those who are not interested, right? But then let's automate it. So what I've been telling you now is things you have to do once you once you create a message, right? You have to test, you have to try, you have to find, res find resources to, to grow. But once you've got that, then you have to automate your business. And let, let me show you what we have. We've got like, uh, we've got close to 400 automations on GetResponse. And, but that's because we manage hundreds of products in our business, right? You, you may not need to have so many automations, but what I want to show you here is that you can create as many automations as you need for your business. The important thing is to create automations for those specific parts of your business that are required. So you need to, uh, you need to do it cleverly, right? So you don't need to, do lots of automations just for the sake of doing them. If you need them, you do them, but otherwise just have everything under control. And let me show you four automations that we use. Uh, this is our welcome series automation. I don't know guys if you've seen welcome series, but usually welcome series are, mu are much shorter. Actually get response got some, some, you know, some templates, some automation templates. Um, in my opinion, some of them are too simple. Some of them are okay. But for instance, the, the um, you know, the welcome series that we created, it uh, allows us to automatically segment the leads that come from one lead magnet or another. For instance, when you subscribe to receive our bonuses that I'm going to share at the end, you will be excluded from this automation because this one is in Spanish. So, and I don't want you to annoy you with emails in Spanish. So that's why you need to segment the automations properly. This second automation here, this is a concatenation of automations that allow us to send an infinite sequence of promotions and engagements. So we are keeping our list very engaged because we offer several concatenated automations that have different purposes. And I'm going to show you this in the in the bonus masterclass. So how we do it, how, how we build it, how we create these automations and how we do, like for instance, when we exclude one part or we do one cycle. So these things here, don't worry if it, if it looks a bit complicated for, for some of you, but this is the way we do it. But the, the, you know, the great thing about these concatenated automations, you can do evergreen promotions, you know, promotions that have been tested, you send them to the, to your, to your, uh, to your broadcast list, to your email marketing, then these promotions that work, right. And these promotions that are bringing money, they will be bringing money once and again, and you don't have to do anything. Maybe you have to tweak something sometimes, but once you've got an automation that works, why touch it? You know, just leave it there and then change it and 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 you know concatenate it with with someone and something else that you have detected that works. You know, but here's what I was telling telling you about, and 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 that's why I, I wanted to make sure that you, that you got the, the the message right at the beginning is what I was telling you about the importance of having a database. So I can send this concatenation of automations to each and every lead that's coming to my list. So I can keep selling products without lifting a finger. And this is the beauty of this kind of business, right? The more traffic I bring to my, to my database, the more leads, the more people will go through my automations, the more money I'm going to make. That's it. Now, another automation. This is an engagement series. Um, so, with this series, we know, so, I mean, with, with this automation, with this series of automations, it's four automations, actually, we know which subscribers are engaged and which ones are not. And we know it automatically. So we don't have to worry about excluding them manually 
on the automation because everything is automated. Now, when they become disengaged, we send them other emails to make them engage. And if they don't open open our emails anymore, we just remove them from our database. And guys, so you don't want to have any disengaged subscribers because your open rates, I, I told you, your open rates will drop. Your list needs to be clean. It doesn't matter how many people you have on your list. Don't, don't get obsessed with having thousands and, and thousands and tens of thousands, you know. Just have it clean and automate this process. Just automate this process. And this is the way you do it. This is the way you make money, you know, because you send people once and again to evergreen promotions. And there are lots of opportunities, affiliate marketing opportunities, uh, waiting for that, you know. Just find the right offer. Find the right offer in, in your niche, something that you really know about, and start doing relationships and start automating your business, right? That's that's how it works. Uh, this, is an, this is a lead magnet automation. We... You know, we can have several lead magnets connected and then send different emails based on certain conditions and segmentations we do for those leads. Okay. So what I what I want to tell you here is that you have to segment your automation. So you have to understand how you know how your business works, right? So you have to personalize the user's experience. If you don't do that, uh, you're missing an opportunity because we all we all want you know, we all want personalization and you need to find it in a way where you can serve your clients and at the same time you can serve them automatically, so to say, right? And and sometimes you will not be able to do some things automatically, but, you know, uh, this is the way you do. Now, sometimes when we join, when we join launches, uh, you know, vendors usually give you resources, assets, and, 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 but we never use vendors' emails, you know. Uh, many affiliates do. You just send the vendor email and that's it. And everyone's sending the same email. It doesn't make any sense. But because we know our target, we know very well and we know the arguments, the needs, their desires, their fears, then we send the right emails with the right content. That is also part of the personalization. Where? Okay. So where would I start? If I had to start... Uh, and, and, you know, if I had to start an affiliate marketing business, where would I start? And I'll come back to the beginning. Serve your clients. This is super important. Find the clients and serve them. Build a database. Find the right product. Establish the right relationships. Develop relationships. And then start with one niche, the niche that you know, and then start finding the opportunity there. One one of the ways is like look for companies uh, that have uh, affiliate programs because companies that have affiliate programs or that have joined, you know, affiliate platforms for their affiliate programs are companies that use that, that they are usually aware that they need they need you to grow right and and this is this is one of my fights many times because you know when I when I when someone contacts us and says hey I want you to do you know, this promotion because I think it's great, the videos you have on YouTube, your emails, whatever. Uh, and, and they say, oh, okay, we pay one time, one time commission, just the first, just for bringing us a sale. And I said, okay, that I'm not interested, you know, because, you know, I'm interested in a recurring business, you know, and this is, this is when I understand that a company is understanding me, right? Because as a publisher, you put a lot of effort. I mean, creating these automations takes time. Uh, creating all the content, all the videos, everything takes a lot of time. I will never partner with someone who doesn't understand that. And one of the ways of doing that is you can search in Google the name of the company and affiliate program. Say get response affiliate program, and then you will go there. You can register, and then you can you know, you, you can start working uh, and finding these kinds of, of, of companies. And however, if you find difficulties, you know, you, let's say that you find, I don't know, uh, you find, sorry, you find um, companies that do not have uh, an affiliate program, you just create your own affiliate program. That's another way of doing it. Like, for instance, we use Thrivecart. I'll, I can send you a one-time payment link if you want on, on the emails as well. So no problem. But uh, there, there are many, many softwares, right? But what we do basically is we create a JV contract with this company, with the company that we decide we want to work and they don't have an affiliate program or don't join an affiliate program. And then they know exactly how many sales you're getting, right? So uh, after that, I can pay them or if they want to do it themselves and they say, okay, no, I have the, the platform and I will pay you commissions, that's fine. But please, 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 you need to... Uh, add my uh, so add my sales to a specific list in my autoresponder. So you have to do that because otherwise I don't work with you. I need when I send when I want you know uh, uh, when I when I make a sale I need to know who's the lead that's come to that sale through myself, right? 
again, if this is very overwhelming for some of you, don't worry. We will we will explain this in 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 the masterclass. I know we don't have lots of time. I would have liked to 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 have a longer webinar, but I understand the the timings and 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 there's a lot to say, a lot to say, and a lot to to go deeper, right? What are the recurring traffic sources? So you can have, for instance, if you know that your system works, video marketing. Why don't you do video marketing? For instance, I was telling you about Doodly. If you go to the Spanish Google, right, and uh, Google in Spanish, you will see that you, you write Doodly and two of the videos, and then at the bottom as well, one of uh, one of our posts appear on the first position. So we are getting traffic for, for those things as well. And, and that's helping us and helping the vendor because when the vendor um, when someone's looking for a software, someone's heard the software, if they only go to the to the vendor's page, uh, the vendor is, you know, uh, it's the vendor. So what can they say how great they are? But if an affiliate or someone else who's interested in, you know, on giving a, a, an honest opinion about software, in our case, I mean, I, I try to be very positive with the softwares, but that's because I choose them wisely, you know? So if I if I say, wow, this software is great, as I've been saying about get responses, because I choose wisely, you know, it's not, it's, if I don't, uh, if I don't uh, like the software, I just don't recommend it. That's it. And I don't need to get into there, right? Some people, what they do is like, oh, yeah, the good things, but this is bad for this. Okay, that's fine. They get traffic with that. That's okay. But if I don't trust the software, why should I recommend it? But if I do, I put a lot of effort on that. Me and my team, we put a lot of effort. So same thing. This is Sam Rice, right? It's, it's very well known. So in Spanish, we're in between the first res results. That's just because we created a video and we promoted that video. Or, for instance, what I was telling you about this about this course, I get a relationship I, uh, with with the, with the software company that I trust, and then I create a, a really good thing for my community because I've got the support of the software that's helping me telling people how to do things. Right now. SEO, you can do SEO as well. You can marketing blogs, as which I was showing you there. Right, marketing blogs, we are on top uh, with our with our review. Uh, then we've got other softwares that we are with reviews and we are with videos. And you know, that's how it works. That's what I mean. So once you once you know the software you want to work with, just go for it. Now, this is something important as well. You should partner with like-minded people. When you start in affiliate marketing, you will you will see that there are lots of contests, right? So because companies want for you to promote this the whatever product they are they are selling, and they say, okay, I'm going to do a contest, and uh, you can join with a partner, right? So if you have a, a like-minded partner, then you will increase your revenue with the prices and with more sales. And this is this is our case. I mean, I've got Xavier Bolizan. He's a he's a really clever guy as well. He works for the for these for the French markets, and we work in a similar way. You know, he knows the clients. We like to work with the clients. You know, we like to serve the clients. We choose the softwares together and say, oh, this is going to be a good launch. It's not going to be. Uh, who's behind the launch? Do we trust these people? Do we don't? Don't we trust them? You know, and then we we join launches and then we earn more money because we are earning the prices apart from pushing each other. You know, sometimes you've got like French markets and Spanish markets and some things are more similar than English speaking markets and Spanish speaking markets. So for me, is a is a great support having Xavier there because we can talk about, hey, we're going to do this this way, this this way, right? And then you get on top of leaderboards and, and then you earn more money because you're getting in and then you, you know, the, so that, that's basically what I say. And then if you go on your own, then you you are there and the vendors know you and then they trust you and they tell you, oh, we've got this launch and blah, blah, blah. So it, it, this is how it works, right? So the last thing is that what I would suggest is, to, is for you to offer valuable bonuses. Now, um, we will see this in the masterclass as well, but I need to tell you that one of the two of the most important bonuses for us are always the support we offer in Spanish. Okay, we offer to all our customers, we offer support and we offer sometimes as well, well, lots of times, video tutorials of the softwares because they need to understand how the softwares work. So I would recommend if you go, if you're if you're going to start in affiliate marketing, you want to enter contests, just go for the valuable bonuses. So many affiliates, what they do is they, 
They, they create loads and loads and loads of, of bonuses and the vendors give you, lo- give you loads of bonuses and then you add all loads of bonuses to your, you know, to your, uh, you know, to your, to your offer. And we've done that as well, but then you, we realize that no, it's not necessary. I mean, I, I offer support, I offer video tutorials and people come to you, right? So and that, that's very nice because sometimes you'll see that people are, are telling you, oh, uh, I'm looking for this software. Can I, you know, uh, are you going to promote it or do you have the, your affiliate link? And say, wow, that's amazing, right? So they come to you and they tell you, they ask you for that. And talking about bonuses, our promised bonuses, finally, right? Okay. Um, this is the presentation, guys. I mean, I guess Mate will share with everyone. I think I think you, you will get the, um, the replay. I wanted to cover everything that I think is going to help your business make more money based on how we crafted the system that works. But my question for you, have you found this presentation use, useful? Give me a one if you have, or do you think this approach can help you make money with your affiliate business or actually any kind of business? I mean, the database approach. Do, what, do, what do you say, guys? So I'm going, to the, I'm going to the chat. Okay, one, one, one. Yes, yes, spot on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, oh, that's so... Oh, that's so humbling. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Re- really appreciate it. Honestly, I really appreciate it. <laughs> really, really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. So the first bonus is a two-day masterclass. If you go to this link you see on the screen, socialanswer.com slash go slash get response webinar, you will be able to register to our two-day masterclass. Now, download the bonus to be on the masterclass because I will show you step by step how to create this system live and how to get traffic. And I will answer all your questions as well that we don't have time to answer today. So um, I'll get time enough for, for you to see how to build this system and how to attract traffic. Jump in now, be part of the masterclass, and I assure you, you will get a lot of value from it. Now, this masterclass is absolutely free for you, okay? It's going to be two sessions, and I will show you how to do many of the things we've talked about here today. So once you sign up to download the bonuses, you will receive an email with the registration for the masterclass. However, if you want to get results just like you saw in today's training and use the exact same system and get them faster, you can also work with me directly. The only thing you have to do is after you sign up, you will have the opportunity to join my 80-day mentorship program. So you'll see the link to join on the thank you page. And I'll tell you what this is about in case some of you are interested to get, you know, results faster. But again, if you would like me to hold you by the hand and guide you by the right path so you can finally start producing results, you can join my mentorship. People have been trying years and not having any results, and this is a way for you to go one step farther and also do it faster. But before I explain how I work in this mentorship, you need to know that uh, right now there is a massive discount of $2,000 thanks to our agreement with GetResponse. However, this discount is only available at the moment for the 10 first people who jump in, okay? So I would suggest for you to join as soon as possible if you're interested, because I usually charge much more for this mentorship. But th- so th- this is what you will achieve in my 80-day mentorship for those of you who are interested and get um, get a clearer idea. So what I'll do is I-, I will show you strategies for capturing emails through high converting landing pages. We will segment your database, you know, to identify subscribers with the highest chances of making a purchase. We will implement different sequences, so like the ones you saw during this presentation, but there are more sequences, to keep the audience engaged, you know, educating, selling, inspiring, etc. You will structure your emails effectively, including persuasive tips for driving purchases in sales emails. You know, it's not it's not only just, you know, sending emails. I mean, we send loads of purchase emails and we make sales on the emails. And, and this is one of the most interesting ways of, um, of doing email marketing, I think, because you know, uh, you have to mix engagement with sales, right? And you have to do sales, but, but you need, to, you need to know how to do these sales and how to, how to engage with these sales emails. Uh, what we will do as well is we'll determine the placement of links and also the sending frequency in your campaigns, which is super important, as you have seen before. We will automate sales from successful campaigns to target new audiences automatically. And we'll be operating two systems simultaneously, the real-time system and the evergreen system based on successful real-time campaigns. So the, the same way we've seen here, right? 
Then we will create funnels to continually sell additional products related to the main offer, and you will learn how to analyze data to understand what resonates with your target audience and what doesn't. And this is just the beginning. So the idea is for you to achieve results in 80 days and get your business running. So we'll have a weekly session for 80 days. I will give you every week the right path you have to follow to be more effective. And from there on, you'll be able to create every new campaign very quickly because, you know, it's just replicating a system, right? And this works both for people who want to build an affiliate business and for those who want to sell their own products. You know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's if, if your purpose is to build an affiliate business the way we have, don't worry, I will work with you as well during the calls to, to, to try to find the right offers for you, okay? Again, this is a group mentorship where I will personally work with you hand on hand. We will have a one-on-one -on -one welcome call, you and me, for me to understand your business. And from there on, I will help you create and automate everything that's needed in your business. So we will go through the whole process in order for you to get your leads engaged, get recurring revenue on a daily basis. And believe me, when I work with someone, I put my passion in it till I see results. Okay, so just sign up for the free two-day masterclass. You don't want to miss that masterclass. Reply to my email, the email you will receive once you sign up. Reply to my email with any questions you may have before the masterclass, and I will try to answer them all during the session. And as I said, if you want for me to help you personally automate your business and start faster, join the 80-day mentorship program because with this discount we have right now, it's well worth it. And now the second bonus is a checklist. You know, this is a checklist that's going to be very useful every time you have to get ready to send an email. In an email. There are so many things we don't remember, like uh, when do we send the email? Are we, did we check the right uh, subject line? Or there are many things you, you need to do when you send an email. Um, so once you sign up to, to this link you're seeing on the page, you will receive this checklist as well that you can download and work with it every time. Uh, first, I would like to thank you, Bernard, for this amazing webinar. Uh, I mean, it was quite a lot to take in, but uh, I mean, I'm sure that uh, we have all learned a lot of valuable information today. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this masterclass too. Uh, now, as for uh, the get response uh, discount, is um, you can get up to 37% off from uh, the get response plans. Uh, so if you can just uh, visit this link that you can see here on the screen, or uh, you can see this uh, blue banner at the top of the uh, page. Uh, you can just click on grab your discount and you'll be able to take it to the pricing page. Uh, this link will stay active for, I think, for at least a week. Uh, so, yeah, if you uh, want to get some uh, exclusive webinar discounts, then you can do so right now by clicking the link. Um, as for uh, the um, Q&A... I, I have to say, sorry, I have to say... Sure. Uh, so, sorry, I have to say as well, if you guys, because I, I want to thank GetResponse as well for the opportunity. I mean, uh, I, I've talked a lot about GetResponse, but I love these guys, you know. But uh, I want to tell you that if you buy through this link, I'm going to offer you a 30-minute free consulting with myself, okay? And we will we will talk about your business. We will can go through in 30 minutes. I will ask you some questions and see how we can uh, orientate your business if you need to, right? And that's do amazing. your marketing. So really that's great. So, uh, yeah, really. and, yeah uh, we have recorded the whole webinar and we'll send it over to uh, everyone uh, early next week. So don't worry if you missed some parts of it because you will receive the recording uh, by Tuesday. Uh, now, uh, I think we still have time for a little bit of Q&A. So, of course, uh, yeah, of course. We have received quite a few <laughs> questions i'm not i all right I, okay we will have time to answer all of them but um, i think this is something that a lot of people can uh, relate to um mm -hmm. what should i do if i am not sure what oh. niche i specialize in well that's i think that's a good question that's mm, in my opinion, and this is what I usually tell everyone, so you have to start slow. You know, you have to start slow and close. 
what I mean with this is uh, you need to you need to think what you know more about. Uh, don't worry if you say, oh, no, this niche is so weird and I'm not sure I'm going to have an affiliate program, right? Or I'm going to be able to sell whatever, you know, uh, I'm not sure about that. But um, the truth is that there's loads of opportunities. Look, guys, I am, <laughs> well, I, I, studied at the, I studied philology at the university. Philology, I mean, I remember when people said, oh, you are a philologist, what's that? You know, philosopher? No, it's not philosopher, it's philologist. Philologist means linguistics and literature and all those things that people usually say, oh, there's no opportunities here. Oh, come on. You, you only can be a teacher, only, only, which is difficult, but it can be a teacher or can work for a publisher. Yeah, okay, I work for a publisher. I was a teacher, but then I created an online business as well. So what I mean is like, you don't have to be super sure. What I would do is like, think about what you're passionate about. I mean, what do you like? I mean, I like analyzing softwares. For me, discovering marketing was like, wow, this is amazing. This is this is great. I can do something I like and I can earn money out of this. And you say, analyzing softwares for the Spanish markets and promoting English speaking softwares in the Spanish markets. Yeah, we started with a blog. That's why, because I like writing. So um, think about what's, you know, what what you really, what you're really passionate about and, and, um, and then what you'll be able to do is you will find the way, but never rely on uh, what other people say. People usually have no idea. And I include myself in having no idea. I mean, I can give opinions of many things, but then uh, I may be wrong as well. So you have to trust your guts. That's what I would say, right? So whatever you like, this is this is the best way to go for it, I think. Thank you for your answer. Uh, we have another question from Anthony. Uh, what are you using usually for lead magnets or what are your preferred uh, lead magnet formats? Um, so there are there are several kinds. I mean, when we started, I remember we created loads of PDFs, you know, and that was a way for us to, to get a lot of traffic. The problem with that thing is that when you... So downloading a guide is very easy for everyone, right? So downloading a guide is something easy. So they give you their email and that's it, and they get the guide. But what happens is that people do not read the guide, right? So um, yeah, we got lots of subscribers, but then we had to clean our lists because many of these subscribers just forgot from ourselves, you know, they, they, who are these guys? I mean, I don't know why, why are they sending me emails? And that's because they saw, you know, what they wanted, but then they forgot it was you, right? However, one of the important things I would recommend to you is never give the lead magnet on the thank you page. Just make people go to your email and force them to go to your email. Say, hey, you've got you've got an email on the inbox. Go to my to, go to your inbox and you'll find my email. From the moment they click your email, they know who you are, or at least they can remember who you are. So that's one that's one way. That's one easy way of doing it. What I would suggest, however, is to be more specialized. More is to be closer. Like you can do. Uh, you can create a, a video series, right? So once someone subscribes, you create a, a little, little course, like a course, like a three video course, for instance. And what happens there is that people start meeting you and people do not forget you, right? So when they receive your email, they are much closer to you because they know, oh, that's the guy who was talking about this. Oh yeah, that's his email. Oh, that's right. That's his name. Uh, you know, you, you start like giving some authority on the niche because if you i mean if you work on that niche it's because you have you may have some authority at least you have a lot of knowledge right uh, and this relates to the previous question you need to to do something you like because otherwise you will not uh, you will not create proper content but um but i would suggest something like that something more personal if you just want to get leads that's fine i mean we use um we use software that I'm going to I'm going to to show you on on the masterclass at agency apps and it's it's really good and you you can create leads like AI leads and and say okay I'm going to follow the strategy of getting lots of leads I target those leads uh, through um, maybe Google Ads or Facebook Ads and, and I know where they are going and 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 now I just make a lead magnet with artificial intelligence so easy so that they get in my list and then I catch people's attentions through through other channels but but if you want to go personal i mean i would suggest to go personal you know to go personal to, to get known you know you have to have some authority people need to know you yeah absolutely uh, i would like to chime in just with um, one more uh, advice is that you need to figure out um what is what what kind of um 
content you are comfortable with creating. So, for example, um, if you are a good speaker or if you uh, like to perform in front of people, maybe you could create like a webinar or a webinar series. If you are, uh, if like writing is your strong, strong suit, then maybe you would wanna uh, create some kind of downloadable resource. So it should be about, uh, yeah, as you said, Bennett, uh, create content around what you know and select the format uh, appropriately mm. as well. Uh, here at this point, we use like many different uh, lead by formats. And now that you mentioned the webinar, you know, um, I think a, another interesting way, sorry, they didn't mention that, this is related to the videos, right? But uh, you, you can use evergreen webinars. Evergreen webinars work really well and you've got everything crafted. You know, you've, the offer is there, you just send people to an evergreen webinar and then they, they know you as well without you having to do any more effort. So that's that's another, not just webinars, just think evergreen in my opinion. Yeah, yeah that's very true. Uh, we have another question uh, from uh, Marvin. It's, um, I mean, this is like a really vague question, but uh, how, what, in your opinion, what is the best way to reach uh, your target audience? So I assume it's for, uh, uh, generating traffic to your landing page. So what mm -hmm. worked for you personally? Uh, one, one of the things that have worked for us very well, actually, and this again is because we are thinking on, on, on the long term, is our blog, right? So we started in 2012 our blog and we've created loads of content. One of the things one of the things we do in our blog is we well now we are changing it so that you, you may not see it but what we do is we do um, different lead magnets for different kind of content different kinds of content so let's say I divide my blog in different categories right like softwares or dig digital marketing softwares or uh, so, uh, video marketing softwares or um, uh, design softwares or you know something related to Whatever you know that, um, that, uh, that 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 that's that's your that's a category in your blog. And then what I do is I send a pop up, a lead magnet, a pop up. This pop up appears whenever I have a post about that thing, right? So I create a post about I don't know Facebook ads, for instance, and then I have a lead magnet for Facebook ads. Which this lead magnet maybe you can create it like with AI if you want something fast, something quickly, because you are creating like seven or nine lead magnets, different lead magnets based on each category and each category, each post, each content you create goes to this category. So this is this is something that has worked very well for us because you are taking the, the advantage of organic traffic and organic traffic is, uh, it's more difficult to get, but once you get it, people, you know, people start trusting you more, right? Because they are, they don't just go to one page, they, they, they go around your website, they're looking for this, for that, they see the, who you are, they see your videos or whatever, right? But that's one of, the, one, of, one of the ways. Another way that works for us is Google Ads. And and it looks like many people say, okay, Facebook ads works better, or Facebook meta ads or whatever, it works better because, because you can seg segment on interests. But you don't have to forget that when you... So when people look for a product or look for for a solution, they go to Google, right? Um, on on Facebook and Instagram, you can create you know yeah videos who are more engaged that are more engaging. But if you want to be targeted and go to the targeted audience, I think Google Ads is much better for that. Of course, it depends on every niche, it depends on everything you're doing. But but this is this is one of the things. And and actually, we will we will talk about that in the in the bonus masterclass. Yeah. That's great, thank you. And I think we have one. We have time for one last question, which okay. is uh, less about the technical aspects of affiliate marketing and more about the, you know, like the spiritual aspect of it. Uh, oh. How can one balance uh, being an affiliate marketer part time? Part time, starting out. Okay, because this takes time and you need to learn a bit to do it properly if you want to do it to, huh, to work in the long run. Okay, that's a good question because I've always thought, I mean, I've always been full-time. Well, I've always been full-time. I mean, um, you know, when I find something, I just focus on that and say, I have to do it and I just do it, right? So to take the decision and do it. Um, but yes, when we started, we had another company. Um and and then I had to do this part time, but I spent lots of hours as well. So for me, it was not part time. I don't know how to say that. I mean, I, I usually, 
I usually put myself into it, you know. Um, however, however, one of the things I would do, um, and this is something that I do as well. I mean, I wake up early. Some people wake, go to bed late, right? But if you if you count the hours you have in a day, um, in a day, sorry, in a week, if you, let's say you w wake up at, at five or six or whatever time works for you, and you can work one hour every day, but you don't think like, I'm going to do this in a rush. So I'm going to do this quietly. I'm going to learn. What I would do is like, I would start thinking, what do I like? Again, related to the past, uh, to the previous question, what do I like? And then I would start reading about that, right? And I would start learning and I would, I would join. If you want to be faster, you can join a course or you can join our, our mentorship as you like it, you know, but the thing is, if you want to be faster, of course, you have to put some more effort because if you join join a mentorship, you will have to put more effort. That's that's for sure because otherwise you're wasting your time and your money. It doesn't make sense. But if you if you don't have that time, then do it one step at a time. It it, it really, you don't know. I, I don't know. Combine it with your life. You know, just just start in the morning and then at night. For instance, it's something that many people do. So you you come from work at night and or you say oh geez i'm so tired oh what am i gonna do now so i'm going to the sofa uh, to the coach and then you just switch on netflix and watch netflix no don't watch netflix just don't watch netflix that's it you've got one hour and a half two hours maybe you know two programs that you can watch just don't watch them just sit down watch interesting videos and do that and one of the things i do as well is when i when i'm driving i'm always listening to interesting people when i'm walking on the street and i'm on my own i always listen to to interesting people when i do some activities that are boring uh you have to wash dishes and you don't like it well i do it with you know listening to interesting people why not why not i mean we've got more time than we think it's just it's just a matter of mindset so just think what do you want to achieve you want to achieve this? You want to be become an affiliate marketer? You want to become, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be affiliate marketer. You want to start selling online? Just do it. But just do it. Just just do it. You've got spare time around. So that's that's the way I would do it. And that's actually the way I do it. So, so yeah. yeah that was, thank you for that. That was super motivational. I'm just going to go okay. ahead and cancel my Netflix subscription now. Uh, <laughs> no, that's fine. You can, you can have it sometimes. But yeah. uh, we should wrap up this webinar. Thank you very much, Bernard, okay. for being here. Thank you, everyone, for attending Thank this you guys. We'll send yeah. you the recording with all the resources and all the links next week. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the summer. Have a great weekend and see you soon at the next webinar. Thank you.